Hello everyone, I'm Hajar Dalwal and I'm with the Windows commercial team at Microsoft. Again, another episode, another exciting, um, you know, conversation with one of my colleagues, Bavia. Bavia, welcome. Thank Great you. Great to have you. Thank you. It's very nice to be here. Hi everyone, I'm Bavia. I uh, lead the platform and security areas of two products, actually, AVD, Azure Virtual Desktop, and Windows 365. So you got double. Double whammy. So you're doing two people's job? I'm doing 10 people's job, okay. if you ask my boss. <laughs> so let's start there. So you're Windows 365 and AVD. So, yes. All right. So exactly what do you do? So there's three areas that I own, uh, and the two that are notable will be I own all of the infrastructure on Azure Virtual Desktop and Windows 365. So think about scalability, resiliency, improving the performance of our products, availability. Mm -hmm. uh, that all falls under my team's very talented team's uh, responsibility, not just mine. That would be dangerous. <laughs> and uh, I also own the security, compliance, and privacy of our products. So I own the customer security features that we have actually shipped quite a bit of at Ignite. Right. And then I also own the internal security and compliance of our products. Oh my God, You so you do a lot. So uh, Me, me, yes. You do. For sure, for sure. Uh, oh yeah, yeah, for yeah, sure. yeah, yeah. No, it's an entire So team. by the way, happy Diwali. Happy Diwali to you too. Yes. yes. It's so, nice, happy Diwali to everyone. Yeah, so those that don't know, Diwali is an Indian celebration of Festival of Lights, right? It's a harvest festival, you whatever it is, right? So Sikhs, uh, uh, Hindus, Jains, and all that stuff. Uh, we we have a great time. I mean, yes. it's a great celebration. It's like our New Year. It's also so. an excuse for us to take off from work. Yes, exactly. Yes. Works <laughs> like, out for us. We need that. Yes. So we talked about Diwali. That's awesome. Yes. Right. Um, and uh, so let's get back to our my work, my actual thing. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know, our technical things that we yeah. do, right? Yeah. So GPU. Do you focus on that? I do. My team actually launched it in public preview, everyone. Uh, we finally announced it at Ignite. We now have GPU SKUs available in Windows 365. It's for your cloud PCs that have any graphic demand workloads. Uh, go check it out. And if you want to sign up, then you can sign up at ak.ms slash win365 GPU. Oh my God, you got a resource ready for you. I do, I do. Everybody. I just launched it. Yes. <laughs> You just made that up, didn't you? No, I didn't. No, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm prepared. <laughs> so what is this, this whole GPU stuff desk? Yeah, so essentially all our customers have been asking for this for a while where they're <clears throat> like, hey, we need a SaaS service. We spend a lot of dollars in giving physical machines that mm. have graphical chips and they're very expensive machines. Okay. And in the world that we live in today, which is all hybrid, all remote, um, it's very hard to ship such an expensive workstation off to a different country, to a different city, to a different state and say, okay, use it. And it's even harder when mm. you have a contractor scenario because you have contractors, they're short time, part time workers, sure. and you don't want to spend, spend like $50,000 to ship a workstation and then get it back and charge for shipping on that. So Windows 365 lets you provision a cloud PC and mm. now with GPU configurations available, you can actually give them a cloud PC that has GPU attached uh, on it. Uh, you can give it on a monthly basis uh, and, uh, and, and they're able to use it and then you can take it back when you're done. So is there like different levels of GPU yes. configurations that you can use? Good question. We have actually three configurations that we're going to be offering in the preview. Okay. Uh, they vary in the compute and the GPU configurations that we're able to provide you. You can check that all out. We have it in our blog. Uh, there's various workloads that we can support on it, but we're able to support anything from a minimum partition GPU to everything from a full partition GPU, which would okay. be like your big big workstations. Okay. So I used to um, uh, work in the uh, higher ed, um, you know, yeah. industry, right? Yeah. And uh, so we did VDI and stuff like that. So GPU was key. Yeah. Because for some of the research organized, uh, you know, departments, right, that were using like uh, for... I don't know, for uh, astronomy, video for editing, what, video editing, video visualizations. Like that. that was huge. Yes. And, you know, this we're going back a few years here, yeah. but, you know, to get to that level was expensive. Yeah. Was, re right? Yeah. So, uh, it's still expensive when you buy a physical workstation. Right. And 
for us, we're able to provide you a solution where you have one click deployment, get your provisioned cloud PC that has a GPU attached, and then when you're done working with it, we can take it out and it's available in your enterprise offering. And when we GA, we'll make it available in Frontline too. So you said one click. Uh huh. Uh huh. <laughs> so, so remember Brad Anderson? No, I, well, I remember him, yes, but right. I don't remember his one so click. So you used to say like three clicks for Intune and, you know. One click for Windows 365, <laughs> I will make it happen. Uh, no, it is one click. Uh, we let you provision with a single click and then you're off. You That's have it. to go. That's You're all. Off. No three clicks, no two clicks. Okay. okay. So what about security and things like that? Yeah. For? We actually shipped a bunch in security okay. at Ignite. But there's one major thing that's happening to our security story. Um, everyone talks about zero trust. And there's a lot that we can talk about in security. But the big three things, the areas that matter right. in security is identity, Access, so like mm -hmm. the way you access your cloud PC or the way you access your Azure Virtual sure. Desktop, um, and data on the machine. Yeah. So we look at those three categories, and we're always innovating in those categories. Okay. So in the identity space, we just GA'd general availability, single sign-on, and passwordless auth mechanisms. So that was a huge thing. We've been in public preview for a long time, but we just went generally available with it, which means you're able to use FIDO keys, Windows Hello for Business, to actually log into the Windows app, the Windows app that was announced at Ignite, as well as go all the way to the session uh, in your Windows session, so you don't need to keep multiple auth prompts. So we just shipped that. Uh, obviously, it's fully integrated with Entra, so you have conditional access policies, sure. multi-factor auth, all of the Entra protection, ID protection that you get, that's all integrated mm -hmm. within our systems. And then for secure access, we shipped things like customer logbox. One of the things that customers are very worried about when they take a bet and they trust our SaaS solution sure. is the VMs live in our infrastructure. We don't, we right. don't need to manage it. But then they're like, well, how do we make sure that it's, it's protected? Your, yeah. Right. How do we make sure it's protected from Microsoft engineers? Right. Uh, so customer lockbox is a solution that just went into public preview where if any Microsoft engineer wants to touch your data, they have to get explicit approval from you. And it's only possible if they're troubleshooting an incident. So how does that work, though? So what's the process for that? Yeah. So let's say we will never touch your data. But right. if there's an incident, we need to look inside your VM to see sure. what may be going wrong then we'll ask for explicit approval. We cannot access your VM otherwise. And we'll ask for exactly what API we're using, what data we're going to access. And only if you give approval can we get into that VM and look into it. So we are completely transparent with what we're going to do, how we're going to use it. And it's all audited. So it's all audited within your Microsoft 365 audit logs. Okay. So you'll see when a Microsoft engineer is ever, ever touching your VM. Amazing. Yeah. So we did that. Uh, we're also innovating a lot in that space on like making sure that we're able to secure per personal devices. Like mm -hmm. that's a big trend in VDI. Sure. Uh, a big trend in VDI right now is bring your own devices, where everyone wants to say, "I'm not going to ship you a physical machine. You can bring your personal laptops and right. then connect to your corp data using cloud PC." And we're doing a lot of innovation there to protect uh, okay. your personal devices too. Well, you know, I I deal with a lot of IT pros in the, you know in the industry and the community and stuff like that, there's still a lot of confusion with AVD and yes. Windows 365. Why do I want to use this versus this? Yeah. Can you like kind of like make it simple? And yes. Yes. I can make it simple <laughs> yes. in one sentence. <laughs> um, essentially, if you want to manage your own infrastructure where you have dials that you want to change, you want to choose exactly the VM SKU, we call it the any approach. Okay. So any VM, any VM SKU available in Azure, sure. you control capacity, you want to control your storage, and you want to manage your own VDI infrastructure, Azure Virtual Desktop is the solution for you. Sure. We also have certain use cases like remote app that only works on Azure Virtual Desktop today. And specific line of business apps and stuff like that, right? Exactly. Well, line of business apps you can ship to both desktop and and uh, and a remote app. But a okay. remote app is essentially streaming just the app to okay. you. Um, and that's only available with Azure Virtual Desktop today. That's the right solution for you. With Windows 365, think of that as the software as a service solution, sure. what we call the SaaS solution, where we manage the infrastructure. Think of that as what we call the zero principle. It's zero touch, zero trust, and zero ramp. And what that means is 
one-click deployment, like we talked about, zero trust. We talked about all the security features that we're, we're launching at Ignite and have been working on for a while. And zero touch, which is it's already integrated with existing products that you use as an enterprise. And, um, and you're able to very quickly provision a cloud PC for sure. your users. But in that phase, you don't manage the infrastructure. You don't care about Microsoft VMs queue. You. you don't need capacity. Right. We take care of that for right. you. Yes. So let's assume maybe, I, I think you like who I am. Yeah. Uh, we're good friends. We're very good friends. Yeah, 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 yeah. So maybe next year you might invite me to your home. It's not a might. I'll, I'll, it's I'll going to happen, right? You. Of course it's going to happen. Okay. Yes. I'm going to have to play. You know, I have to book Hold my me flights, accountable right? for this. Okay. So, but you have to bring Diwali gifts and otherwise I don't Yeah, the people. sweets and stuff. Yeah. 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 Or, or drinks. That's Diabetes, fine. whatever. Yeah. You can so. you can take the sweets out and just give me drinks and that's fine. <laughs> So let's say I show up at your place, right? Yeah. We're, we're spending, uh, having a good time for Diwali next year. And I'm like, oh no, I did leave my laptop, my work laptop for a reason. Yes. Because I didn't want to do work. Yes. But As you should not. I should not. Yeah. But so happened. You're was, a hardworking person. And yeah. And you people know. People need you. Maybe, yeah, get it. maybe one of our colleagues or whatever, hey, I really, really need your help. Yeah. So I can come up to you and say, hey, uh, Bavia, you got a machine I can use here, a computer, and you're like, yeah, sure, go ahead over here. Yeah, yeah. So I can go on over there. I can log in, get to Windows 365, my own space. Yep. My own, right? Your personalized Windows available to you on any device. Sure. And So and I could give you my Android phone and you would still be productive. That's amazing. Yes. That's Right? Yes, that's, I can that's get to exactly. It, do my emails, do whatever I need to do. Anything you would like. Yeah, I'd give you an iPad and you would be successful. Yes. And, and once I once I get off of it, you don't have any of my stuff, right? Absolutely not. That's the point of <laughs> securing. Like you're talking to a security person, so this is gonna be important. No, that's the point about being able yeah. to give you access through personal yeah. devices. Yeah. We don't touch your personal device, we don't store any data on there, but you're able to access yeah. your and, corporate and data you know securely. What? So, you know, we're, we're bantering here. We're having a good time. Yes. But, but, but this is really, really important yeah. for our customers, right? To really understand, we really mean when we don't have your data, when we don't have your access to your environment, we really mean that. Absolutely. And exactly. if, and, and as you hear from like all yeah. of the Ignite sessions that you'll see, we've yeah. done on demands, we have live sessions happening. They're all recorded. You'll see the security features that we've released are in that front. Like, and that's what I was meaning by, identity access and data like sure your access from a BYOD device or what we call BYOD but like it's a personal device it's bring your own is very important to us and yes you're opening sort of a tunnel from that personal device so, to access your corp data and it's our job to make sure that you're able to secure that tunnel. sure I know you work behind the scenes on I know these amazing solutions yes. right what really excites you about Windows 365 like yeah what like, oh my God, this is like amazing stuff. This yeah. is why our customers and our IT pros. Yes, I love it <laughs> when I can get to a customer conversation, which has happened recently, so lucky me. But um, when I can get to a customer conversation, they're betting on Windows. That's what you're betting on, really. Sure, It's Windows it's about, 11. It's about making sure you have sure. a Windows modern 11 experience. Sure. In the future, we'll, we'll create more Windows experiences. And it's powered by the cloud. It's available anywhere. You don't need any device, any device. Mm -hmm. um, and in the future, we're moving towards the Windows Cloud vision. We're talking about your Windows experience following the user, sure. not the device that is on that it, it is installed on, but actually following you as the user. Uh, and that's the world that we are going towards. So when a customer tells me, hey, I'm betting on Windows and I want an easy way to access it for right. my comp my people that are living in India, they're living in Asia, doesn't they're matter. living in Europe, it doesn't mm. matter. You're able to get them a corporate data cloud PC yeah. uh, with with one click, which yeah, I keep saying. One click. With one click. <laughs> uh, that I think is the, that is what motivates me to right. keep delivering on the features that we deliver and keep meeting the customers where they are. Right. Uh, during Microsoft Ignite, I've had some conversations with uh, Microsoft MVPs, our internal you know, yep. Microsoft colleagues and stuff like that about Windows 365 and EVD and stuff like that. So, you know, conversations came up about the innovations we're doing with Frontline Worker, yeah. uh, uh, Switch, Boot, yeah. Windows 365 Boot. Yeah. 
I mean, it is an amazing thing. It's like, yeah. right? We're making it so easy. Yeah. Like I, like I was saying before, like it's our job. It's my primary job mm-hmm. and it's my job of my entire peers, everyone that works on this team. Uh, to make sure that we are able to give you the Windows experience yeah. wherever you are. Yeah. So if you're a company that's managing your VDI infra today, uh, we want to make sure it moves to the cloud, we have a solution for you today. Uh, you don't care about virtualization, you don't want to manage the VDI infra, you just want your corporate data available anywhere, and you want an easy way to do that, that's what Windows 365 sure. is for. Um, and Frontline, you mentioned Frontline, and that I was interesting. Frontline. I oh know, God. I know. The also <laughs> hand that I played in, but uh, Windows 365 Frontline was essentially launched for addressing one major feedback that we heard from our customers. Which they is? said, I love that you have Windows 365 available anywhere, 24 seven, access it anytime. Sure. Um, and uh, I can also pay money for it. That's great. But I also have part-time workers. They don't have 24-7 needs. They're not needs. there all the time. They're not like you working mm-hmm. on Diwali because sure. you know that's not an okay thing to do. But that's not happening. Uh, they're actually shift workers that come on specific days with specific time slots. They leave their work behind, as we should, healthily, you know, like leave Which it at I work. Should, I yeah. know, I know, yeah, you yeah, should yeah, too. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but <laughs> there's a lot of people there in the front line working part time shifts, uh, and then they do not need their corporate data 24 7. So why pay so much for it? And, and why keep a personalized sure. cloud PC? We actually gave them the personalized Windows experience, which was a big deal for us because they still need that experience. They still want to be able to log into your Outlook and Teams, but you want to do it when you're at work and and then be able to utilize that across your geo. So we built Frontline for that. So you know what? When we talked about Frontline worker experience and, you know, we said, hey, you just buy one license. It gives you three licenses. It gives you three cloud PCs. Yes, yes, three cloud PCs, right? But concurrent and stuff like that. But what people don't realize is that the each of them has their own personalized experience. Exactly. exactly. So they could they could be at the 7 a.m. shift, and that's when they get their cloud yes. PC. And the next person at 3 p.m. will get a different cloud a different PC. one. And yes. then the, the the person that comes back at 7 a.m. the next day, they get all your exactly your app, your data, exactly. your settings. It's like your PC, which is. Going back to what I was saying, we're moving yeah. Windows to following the user. You're right. You could care less about the VM I'm giving it to you, the device you're using to access that VM. Right. It doesn't matter. The Windows follows you. And how we do that is our job. So initially, when I heard about Frontline Worker, I was like, oh, wait, it's going to reset every day. You know, if, I, if I'm in an organization where yeah. I, I'm logging in, I'm like, oh, no, I got to start all over again. Yeah. But no, it's not. Yeah. Exactly. You get your own space. Yeah, we're giving you your own space. Having said that, we're actually hearing a lot of feedback from our healthcare customers, as yes. an example, who are saying, Nurses, I doctors. actually do not want personalized experience. Sure. I need one app. I need to be able to log into that app. Okay. And I do not need the personalized experience because in my workstation, in my clinical workstation, the nurse workstation, that's not the need I have. Um, and this is still, a, yes, it's personal. Yes, it's available. Yes, I can use it on my frontline shift. Right still more expensive than I would pay, and we're working on that too. So I want to touch on this. You mentioned, uh, you know, health healthcare and stuff like that. So yeah. when I go see my doctor, because, you know, I'm yeah. super healthy, amazing, right? Like, whatever. Uh-huh. But, yeah. Uh-huh. <laughs> uh-huh. Yeah. So, <laughs> so when I go see my... Here comes the nurse, right? Yes. There's a computer in the room. Yes. And they do their thing. Hey, is this medication right? Are you still using it? Blah, 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 whatever. Hopefully none. You know, because you're a Zero. healthy person. I'm yeah. super Zero. healthy. Right? I get, I get oh my God. Oh my God. Yeah. yeah. So when they do that, the nurse leaves, right? Then the doctor comes in, usually about 45 minutes later, because they want you to sit yeah. around. Whatever. Yeah. <laughs> so, but when you talk about Windows 365 and yeah. stuff like that, yeah. how is that working out? Yeah. So essentially, in nursing workstations, there's a lot of nurses and doctors, as you was mentioning, that are just able to come in, in and get out. your data. They they're right. able to come in and out. They're not checking their emails there. They're not, you know, doing their right. scheduling there. That's what they do in their office. Even for nursing workstations, we're building a solution in Frontline where we mm. can address that scenario in a SaaS solution. Okay. So you are able to go in and out, but it's not like your personal cloud PC following you everywhere. I see, uh, You I are see. able to just get the app that you need, get the data that you need, walk out of there. Another person can get that same data. Right. And if you need that personalized experience, then we already support that today. 
Right, because because that same nurse actually has another room she has to go exactly. to. Exactly. Right. Exactly. And okay. Like, or she's doing scheduling. Like, she's a supervisor and she needs to sure. schedule for multiple people. Everyone needs their productivity apps, and they're able to get that with a personal cloud PC experience. Okay. Talk to me about AI Copilot. You, yeah. Have you heard about AI Copilot? <laughs> if I have not heard about it, I do not live in this world. Is it? That isn't that right? <laughs> <laughs> no, I've heard about it. I love Copilot. Um, Microsoft is doing so much with crazy Copilot. Crazy stuff. And it's, crazy. It is crazy. But what I love about it is, actually, our CTO said this uh, in a different forum yes. publicly. And he said, think about the impossible things and think about making that easy to do or hard mm -hmm. to do. Mm -hmm. uh, we used to, Copilot is not about just making hard things easy. It's also about making impossible things exactly. possible. Exactly. Um, and so I love Copilot. Um, in all of the Copilots that we offer today, like Windows, M360, Microsoft 365, um, what the beauty is, is that they all work on Windows. And I am providing you Windows. Yes. So on an Azure Virtual Desktop Session Host, that's a Windows delivery mechanism on Windows 365. Sure. Also, Windows delivery mechanism. All of these co-pilots work out of the box in our systems. And then we're making our own unique value where we're trying to build AI-powered experiences for IT pros, right. making their life easy. Where I say, you know, I made your life easy by providing you one click. But there's a lot of management, security that you still have to work on as an end-user computing team. And making that easy for you, making that more dynamic, making that more cloud-powered. Sure. Um, and there's a lot more to see in that space. What's your favorite Windows 11 feature? Windows 11 feature, the start the start button being in the center. Yes, <laughs> yes, yes. I'm used to it now. Yes, yes, perfect. Yes, yes. yes. First level of Windows 11 start menu in the middle. Yes, exactly. And I it love makes this sense. Start it menu. makes sense. It really is. It's easier for my clicks. Exactly. Yeah. So, I also love the hardware flow because it's better for security. Yes. But. And finally. Fabia, oh my God, I could talk to you for hours. This is amazing. Me too. I'm going to get you back on the show. We're going to talk even more in detail about all this stuff. I would love that. I would love that. Okay. I can talk about Windows 365 and Azure Virtual Desktop all day long. Fantastic. So yes. Folks, you've heard it. This is my colleague, Bavia. You got to follow her. You got to check her out. Amazing stuff. I hope you enjoyed this episode. Thank you for watching Tackling Tech, and we'll see you next time.